Welcome back everybody or welcome if you're new today we're in the super late models here at Knoxville uh, track came in super clean. I ran a 153 not super fast the 7.8. That's super fast. That's that's really fast In my last practice. I had like a similar track condition ran like an 0 12 an 18 12 So basically almost an 18. Hopefully we can get that speed back for qualifying With these new tires on these late models. It's a lot of uh, Adjusting to it, but I do like it a lot You're really driving with the gas pedal, which I do like a lot in these makes it a lot of fun Instead of just whipping it in and trying to slide it around, you're really trying to keep it straight as possible. Got a little bit sideways once I hit the gas off the corner. Trying to stay low, not doing a great job of it right now. Could have a good run off that corner though. Don't really want to get on that curb much. We're at 078, I'll take that. At least I got the zeros. Had a pretty straight run off of three and four last time, so I don't think this last one be any better. Oh, an 053, I'll take it. Dang, Gavin got into the nines. Nice lap, man. Fast as hell. Gotta get used to these a little bit more, but I feel pretty quick in them so far. Very happy with how we're running. He ran in the 17s. That's tough to compete with. That's super fast, so got to see what he's doing in the race and got a bunch of people left to qualify 17 guys in this race it was everybody that registered for it so it's a pretty big field thought it was going to break us into two but i'm happy it didn't but uh got a few people left to qualify so i'll pick it up when we're getting ready to go green all right we fell down the third which isn't too bad i'm kind of happy about that the uh, one car got faster as he ran a low nine as well they are super fast up there rather start on the bottom so it actually benefited me a little bit that the one car got into second even if he would have gotten in the first, it would have been fine for us. But God, they're fast up front. Got into the lower nines. I haven't ran to the 17s yet with these. I've gotten, like I said in my last practice, an 18.012. That was as fast as I got so far. But 16 cars here because one of the guys uh, left. Hopefully we can have a pretty good race, pretty clean, because there are cautions. Hope it's not filled with them. Seems like in practice, uh, I was running around guys and you could have some pretty good racing with these new tires. I like it a lot. You got more control over your car. Oh, everybody. It feels like keeping it straighter. Waiting for everybody to join in. That'd be great. Five, six, seven, We're waiting on eighth place. And I think 17th. Make because... sure to remember all the races are won on the first lap. Yep, definitely. <laughs> can't win a race in the first the corner you can definitely lose it though and there's a lot there's definitely caution the last so. one on the last turn so <laughs> before you enter turn one oh god you win it on the pace lap if you just one take whenever off whenever you decide it's one <laughs> if you just take off the pace lap oh sweet wreck no, everyone out when we start rolling <laughs> I'm hoping it'll be a clean race though. Get some green flag racing, that'd be a lot of fun. Cause when I was running it with guys in practice, it was a ton of fun. Running side by side with them. And you're actually able to throw sliders easier, I feel like. Be up on the Just because like your car's Hello. tighter now. So I feel like it's easier to throw a slider. You're not s completely sideways going up the track. You have more control hey, over Hey man, it. I'm just here for the SR. <laughs> I don't know about that. I feel like this isn't the best car for that. But it's very easy to fuck up in these. They got so much horsepower in them. I would say the limiteds or something like that, you could definitely farm SR. You just run in the back and you don't care about your I rating much. Which is which I did a lot of when I first started out I racing. Especially in the rookie. Rookie, you got no eye rating, so just run in the back. Let everybody wreck way up in front of you. You don't run into it. Just don't let anyone around you. Doesn't matter where you're finished when you're when you're a rookie. Just get out of rookie class because it's hell there. Luckily, I didn't have to do that for dirt because I was on before dirt came out, and I ran dirt with my oval license, so it just gave me an A when dirt license came out. Watch for the leader to go. I'm assuming he's gonna go early, being this far back from the pace truck. Pace truck's in. Yeah, he went pretty early. Gotta be careful on the gas, because these things don't want to turn sometimes.
had to get on the brick a little bit, so didn't run into the one. He was really pinching us down. I didn't know. I don't know if his spotter said he I was ever under him or not because the start of the race it doesn't like to tell you very quickly. Sorry, boys. At first, bottom's definitely going to be faster. Bottom's going to get worn out. You're going to slowly move up the track. It's not as uh, drastic as it used to be, though, with how sideways we were in these cars beforehand. They're so smooth up there. They get, like, the slightest bit sideways and you just hold it through the corner. Like, it's not hardly sideways at all. You're, you're basically turning left a lot. A lot more than you used to in these. You're barely holding right anymore. Really gotta drive it with the gas pedal, which I like. And coming off that off these corners, I need to not hit the gas as hard. I need to like slowly get on it, not just like ram it. Because that's what's giving me wheel spin and probably losing some time. Because the back end does kick out a little bit if you just nail the gas. Pretty good cushion back to fourth, which is good. Trying to watch what these two are doing up here and learn from them as much as I can. Yeah, we're just taking this right man. I like that. One car is making a move. All right, thank you. I just can't get it sick right now, so I don't want to take you out. Ooh, five cars already up to fourth. He is flying up the track. Easy on the phone. Yeah, he is flying through the field right now. He started like mid pack, I feel like. Three cars holding them off on the outside lane. Thanks for thanks for that. Definitely easy on the throttle. Don't want to get sideways like that. One one car is all over the three. I don't know if the one car is a little bit faster or they're just like the same speed. It's hard to tell from where I'm at, but I'm not in the driver's seat for either of them. I can't tell how much the one's not trying to run into him or just how hard they're both working. I'm gonna start running this little bit higher lane. It seems to have some grip on it. Three and four off of four still got a lot of grip on the bottom, so you could probably duck down coming off the corner there. Kind of the same for two, not as much though. Feels like I'm pulling away from fourth place. Great. They started running this higher lane now too. I think I gained the slightest bit on them when I ran the high lane first. And then they started running it and they're starting to pull off. I'm trying to do like a little diamond thing off the corner. Yeah, we're making time up on fourth, pulling away from them. Don't want to get your tires too high up on the grip, but kind of just slide a little too far up. They both kind of went real high there, which I'm surprised about. I can't believe how much the one's all over the three and they're not wrecking each other. That's amazing. That's some great racing up there. Got a lap car up here. Don't really know what happened to them. They might have wrecked off the track. One car is trying to make it work on the bottom, but they're going to have a lap car to deal with. That's going to be interesting to see where the lap car goes. Hopefully the lap car ducks and lets him go. He does. Good lap car. Don't come up the track. I'm just going to give myself room. Get by him. Clean. Got plenty of room behind me. No reason to risk it trying to be close to the lap cars. I'm somewhat sticking with them. I lost time in the beginning. They were super fast in the beginning. I've kind of stuck with this same gap, it feels like. I'm not really looking at the relative at all because I'm trying to focus on driving this. A lot of the time I do look at the relative and I feel like I lose time because of that. No clue what that guy's saying. He is way too quiet. There's still so much grip. Oh, there's a caution. There's so much grip still in the middle of the corners, it looks like, compared to like where the line's going. All the way up the track. 
We're definitely the third fastest right now. The front two are super fast. We pulled really far off away Pretty from clean racing there. Fourth. Not too bad. Seems like it's a lot cleaner than it used to be. But I feel like there used to just be constant cautions in these cars, so it will be interesting to see where these when these cars go to some it's shorter tracks. To drive now until they get tired on you. True. It would be interesting Michael to see when these go to uh, uh yeah. Yeah, I know he's all over you. I'm surprised you guys aren't wrecking. It's awesome to see. Like I want to let him buy, but you know, <laughs> I'm just not in the spot to do it. You know. You gotta race your race, man. You guys are both fast as hell up there. I don't know if he's faster, but he is on his ass. <laughs> It's great racing up front, though. It will be interesting to see when these cars go to a smaller track, like Volusia, or let's say, I don't want to say like Fairbury, because I don't, I don't like these cars on Fairbury regardless. I want to say like a smaller track. I'm trying to think, maybe like Lanier. It's still like somewhat of a short track. It's a pretty short track, I would say, but it will be interesting to see when these cars go to smaller tracks on how they drive. I need to get a good restart so I can get to the outside. Because the outside's definitely better at this point. We were definitely way faster in fourth place. Pulling away from them pretty easily, so hopefully we can have a good restart and get to that outside and stick to third right now. Because these two up here are super fast. Try again. I wonder if he's going to take off as early as he did last time. It's actually a little earlier. I would say. Got a little too sideways there. Not trying to go all the way outside into the five. I was just trying to run that middle. Get as much grip as I could and it worked. Just try to run what we were doing before and hopefully pull away from them. Yeah, I definitely hit the gas a little too hard there on that restart. Got too sideways. Did not have a good restart. It'll be interesting to see if the one throws a slider at all. If they run side by side though, that'd be great. Help us catch up a little bit probably. Or if they start throwing sliders on each other, that'll probably help us as well. We still are going way up this track like we used to. It's just how this track drives, I guess. Follow the grip. Especially now that you have to try to keep the car as straight as possible. Gonna try to throw a slider there. I think he is. Ooh, not quite. Maybe he thought about it, I think, and then backed out of it. I think he saw he didn't have enough room or something. I don't know. Two sideways there. In the middle of that corner just like kicked out on us. Too high up the track. I just did not want to turn at that point. The one car is all over him, man. That is crazy. Three car went up too high, I feel like. One car ducked down off the corner, got a good run. He trying to throw a slider now? Yeah, he is. Cross him back over. Make each other waste time. Get me back up here. Oh, he did not go to the slider like I thought he was going to. I feel like the three should have thrown a slider there. Get that spot back. Bottom still had some uh, grip down there for the three. In three and four. Interesting. One and two, there's definitely not grip. Three and four, they're still seem like a little bit down there. Got up in the wall a little bit. As did I. A little bit. Not too bad. Now let's see if that one car starts to turn away. Oh, my wreck cars. That sucks. Caution. I wanted to see if wanted to see if the one car started pulling away from the three there or not. Sorry about chopping out there. But we still pulled away from fourth like we did last time. That's great news. Running well, but there's only gonna be five laps left, which is gonna be. You probably just blew me off, blew by. 
Four car seems to be coming oh, through the field. Thanks for the uh, free incident points, man. <laughs> yeah. Pace truck just went into the pits. I, I, it's weird when this uh, track does this weird I'm glitch. Severely right now. He was really fast in the beginning, yeah, coming out through the field. Yeah, the figure out. It's the same as the bottom, kind of. Really just have to be careful on the throttle. That's mainly it. But we're going to have like five laps left. These caution laps take a little while, so I'll pick it up around one in the green. Less is more off the corner. Close. Oh, we are a single file this time. Okay. That's good. I thought we were going to be double file. I forgot that within like the last, I think it's 10 laps, uh, your single file. I forgot about that completely. So that actually helps us out with uh, our restart, I feel like. Nobody's going to be on our outside. We can be where we want to be. He's got to watch the leader. It's going to be harder to see him, though, with the three in front of us. See how early he goes. Because the three went early both times. I feel like the one's going to... He went pretty early. Not super early, though. Had a better start that time than I did on the one previous. It's so weird, like, coming off the corner, letting off a little bit to straighten out. You really want to straighten out before you really get on the gas fully. It just feels so fast. These cars are so quick with so much horsepower. I'm not completely used to them. Because I'm so used to running like the street stocks, limited late models, 358s, stuff like that. The UMPs are the closest thing I have to this. Three cars going low. Ooh, kind of throw a slider. It was a really slow slider, but it worked. Got the one out of his groove. I think the one's going to throw one back. Good racing up front. Three car got in the wall too much. Messed up his momentum. Ooh, one car's going to pinch him down. He threw his own slider line, so he couldn't. <laughs> Smart, in a way. Good thing they didn't wreck, though. What I'm trying not to do is get up in that wall like the three is. We got plenty of room behind us. One car threw like kind of his own slider, like a mini slider. And he's gonna do the same thing in three and four, so he can't. That makes sense. Smart race. Great race. Good race up front. That was fun to watch. Drew, that scared me. I didn't know you were down there. Ooh, that was a lot of fun. Started third, finished third, road, not bad. Radar. Had a good race. We were definitely the third That's fastest by far. It. Holy shit. One car was super fast, three cars were super fast. Too. We were like just a little bit off of them. I was looking down there. But we had a pretty good I gap back to fourth the whole time. So great racing. Great racing. I like these new tires a lot. Makes for some really fun racing. I wasn't really side by side too much with people. Third. But that was a good race up front. I want to go back to them to when the one Direction. took the lead he took the lead right around here i think because he was right on his ass the entire time he got a good run down the track in one and two right there and i think he threw a slider in three and four yeah you can kind of just go straight into the corner oh no this is where he backed off it gotcha that makes sense i remember he did back off but we we started getting a good gap back behind us at least too but when they started trying to swap positions, we were catching them slightly. They were just so fast up there, it's crazy. They were running eights at the very end, nine zeros. Where didn't he throw the slider? I think it was this lap. Ran a little lower, three went real high, in, too much into the grip. Really sideways off that corner, and I think this is where he finally threw it. Yeah, you can go so straight into the corner, go so deep. Three car goes back low. I was hoping the three would throw a slider right back to him, but instead he tried to stick to the bottom. I do that a lot too, is just try to stick to the bottom. He thought he was gonna throw a slider, so he started running that line to go back under him, and the one just had so much momentum compared to the bottom. Right here though, the three actually had a good amount of grip on the bottom. I thought I was gonna catch him more, but he actually had some good grip there on the bottom. But good race, good race overall. I wanna go back and see what happened with the two cautions. Cause where, where were the cautions all together? Probably somewhere in this group. They're the closest to each other, it looks like. Nines in the wall. 
what happens? Why was there a caution? Was it on this lap? I think it was. Oh, this guy has no more laps after this, so I'm assuming it had to do with the nine. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Nine cars straight coming off the corner. Six cars a little sideways. Nine cars super loose. What the hell? What happened there? It looked like his wheel disconnected or something. Like, he just lost all control down the back stretch. I don't know if he just got... I want to get in the car and hear what the hell is going on with his throttle. Okay. Yeah, he was trying to gas it too much and then put too much wheel into it. I don't know what the hell. I've never seen that. That was weird. So, he was out after that. He definitely didn't have any damage, but he was, he just left after that one. Uh, where was the other wreck? Going on to this lap. I feel like it was back here somewhere. Is my guess. 6 and 12 are racing hard as hell. What is the spot? Is this 7th, 8th right here? 6 is super sideways going into that corner. Lost all his momentum. Oh, that's what happened. It looked like. 6 car come, came up on the 10. It looked like there. Did he come up or was the 10 a little lower? It's hard to tell. 10 kind of came down. 6 was coming up off the corner. It's just racing the same spot. 10 car gets ran over after that. Yeah, that's what happened. That makes a lot of sense because the 10 was so sideways after getting clipped into the wall. He lost so much momentum. Oh, wait, no. He didn't clip the wall. He just got sideways and 13 just ran him over altogether. 13 should have been higher on the track at that point anyways where we were running. And that wouldn't have happened. He just would have cleared the 10 and went right by him. Probably wouldn't have had that wrecked, but... Those are the only two cautions. Wasn't anything like too malicious, but great racing up front. We started third, finished third. I felt like we were the third fastest car on the track for sure. We were like a tenth off of them, maybe just half a tenth off of them for most of the race. We, we kept up with them for the most part, didn't fall too far back. So I was able to see what they were doing a lot of the time. I ran a 073 as my fastest lap. Uh, Gavin ran a seven. Uh, 976 and here in a 944 so yeah he was super fast right in the beginning they both were the one I feel like was a little bit quicker and finally got around the three with a slider clean slider and then it was just good racing up front and he just held him off I was able to keep up with him for the most part pulled away from fourth so we definitely had the third fastest car but definitely gonna gain a little bit of irony being car number two finishing third out of 17 pretty big field and i'm surprised there wasn't as many cautions as i was expecting with these new tires it seems like there's a lot less cautions a lot better racing so far i don't know if it's just a group of guys we had or if it has to do with the tire model be interesting to see going forward when we go to more tracks but let's go see what kind of irate we end up getting out of this one all right results are in strength of field about 1850 not too bad one car had the fastest lap which i expected Three was super fast as well. They were the only one in the 17s. I had a zero. I was the only one in the zeros. And then he was really fast in the beginning. He started eighth, moved his way up to fourth pretty quick. I think in like the first five, six laps, he was up there. So I thought he was going to run us down more, but I guess he fell off with the track a little bit. I do that a lot, to be honest. I fall off with the track a whole bunch, but uh, we gained 21 I rating. Very happy about that. Almost back up to 3,900, which is great. Uh, I think we lost some in our last street stock race. I think it was or something like that. I think we lost some in the street stock race. That's why we're back under 39. Getting back up to 4K. Gained a lot of I rating lately. Gavin gained a good amount. Uh, did he jump me? Yeah, he did jump me by, by three now. Nice. So he, if we race again, he'll be a higher number than me. Cool. Then I'll gain more I rating and finish where I'm at. <laughs> uh, one car is over 5K, almost 5,500. He has a ton of I rating. He was super fast. So was the three. I was kind of quick. I wasn't as quick as them, but I'm happy with how we did. I'm really liking this new tire. A ton of people with zero X's, only two guys with two X. That's it. And we only had two wrecks. So that's a lot of fun. A lot of green flag racing, which is a lot different than uh, before. The 17 at 700 I rating. Jesus. That no, he gained five I rate and finishing 13th. That's kind of really funny. Um, I wouldn't have expected that, but we only had two cautions. Happy we had a lot of green flag racing. I'm able, I was able to see what them two were doing a lot of the time, and I didn't fall too far off of them. I definitely wasn't as fast as them, it, but I, I ran well, and I'm happy with that. Uh, we ran as well as we could. You really drive these cars with the right rear and the gas pedal, which is a lot of fun. A lot different than it used to be, I feel like. You kind of just threw it in and just try to control the slide. This the, Now, with these, new with these new tires, I can't speak right now. Jesus. 
with these new tires you really have to keep the car as straight as possible and just really be easy on throttle you had to be easy on the throttle before but you have to be a lot more careful on it now and the straighter you keep your car coming off the corner hitting the gas don't hit it too hard you'll be a lot faster because it seemed like that's what they're doing and i kind of picked up on that a little bit and i was able to do pretty well but great racing up front great racing by most of the guys i didn't really run side by side with anybody really i was kind of just in third by myself most of the time and it seemed like a lot of clean racing so appreciate you guys for watching as always let me know what you guys think about these tires on the late models if you guys have ran them i haven't ran any of the pro late models because they're an open setup the limited late models don't feel too different they're a little they're not too different at all the super late models i feel it a ton yeah i feel the tightness in the car a whole lot and you really have to drive it with throttle like i've been saying it's a lot different than it used to be so let me know what you guys think about these tires i do like them a lot and uh, i'm excited to learn them more and i think it might make me a little bit better in the ump's as well because the ump's i feel like i need to be easier on the throttle and this will help me a lot in that i think so appreciate you guys for watching as always i've already said that like comment subscribe if you want to see some more racing and i'll catch you guys in the next one